Curtis. Oh, look at Laura's face! I don't expect Curtis. Are you mad? She came in with her chest. Go on, go on, Francesca. Ovi. Yes! Yes! Woo! Okay. Oh my days. Yes. Bye. There's a little waste, but at least you got one, at least one left. Tomorrow night, it's game on. Are you happy? I try not to smile too much. Let me try it again. Don't think I can find that much fun flight. You want to sneak into my bed while she falls asleep. This devil. Oh, there's never dumb moment, is there? This devil. So Marvin was dumped, but do we really care? No, we don't. So the boy that I would like to couple up with is Chris. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Now before you get in this video, what are you doing? If you haven't, subscribe, click that button. Don't be a pagan. Subscribe to my channel for daily daily and consistent content and follow me on my Instagram Murad underscore Murali I'd massively appreciate it and my Instagram is in the description box below I'd massively massively appreciate it Francesca I did not expect this Francesca really came into the show with her chest she really had boys that she could she had options Michael came into the show with options like I really rate this girl because I really do feel like she isn't afraid to speak her opinion she isn't afraid to go for somebody everybody suspected and we said it this morning in the teaser review this afternoon that we kind of suspected that she would not go for um, Curtis because of Mora Curtis Amora is a feisty, aggressive girl, and that they most likely will clash. But no, nope, she doesn't care about all of that. And she simply said in an interview clip that you have to go for these kind of decisions because you'll always wonder if you if you didn't. And she made a bold statement as Curtis did, and picked Curtis as um, her partner, her you know partner in crime to be sitting in bed and everything. And you can see that as soon as she said that, because she was picked to go first, Mora was pissed. Mora was upset and she's irritated because I feel like when she doesn't get what she wants. She gets very angry, like a little kid, and I feel like she has this kind of complex, and now she's going to do the absolute most to fight for somebody again, and it'll be hilarious to see her lose, because I feel like she has jumped from guy to guy to guy to guy, and she has failed miserably, somewhat similar to Anton, somewhat. And the only difference is that Anton hasn't had that many options to fight over, whereas Mora has. And now we're gonna see in the next episode, we see her even whispering saying, do you wanna come into my bed once you lot are sleeping? Like, I don't understand why she asks these kind of questions, because I feel like he would say no anyways and therefore you're actually you're, you're basically asking to get turned down by saying such illogical stuff some rude stuff because I feel like if you wanted to move to somebody do it properly do it with have some game you you and your you you are just yourself you and your big big personality and your feistiness and everything went down in your cat outfit sat on his lap kissed him and everything and you still lost the guy like I just feel like she does she fights for somebody and I feel like she has the energy to do so but I feel like she just does way too much oversaturation don't do too much because I feel like when you lose you look like a fool and that's what you are really and truly the only thing I'm glad about this episode is that Ovi has not been dumped I feel I thought for a second I thought Ovi was going but gladly Amber picked him out of the two guys who expressed interest in Amber, Obi was in the middle between those two and she still picked him to clearly show that he, she's not interested in either of these guys. I'm very glad that Marvin's gone home. Like I swear he was literally there for like five seconds. Nobody knows who you are. You're not even team manager at this point. You're literally, even a love out of water bottle is more relevant than you. And I just feel like there's nothing that you're doing in this video. You're very reserved, you're very quiet, cool. A lot of people are reserved and quiet. So the boy that I would like to couple up with is Chris. But we don't need that when it comes to a show. If you are consciously coming on a show, why are you so reserved and quiet? We need personality. We need humor. We need laughter. We need to relate to you. We as an audience need to relate to you as a character on the show, as a contestant on the show. And the only way we're going to do that is if you have personality, personality, if you have personality, humor, you know, character within you because this forges as a bridge for us to connect with you. And if you are team reserved as you're expressing yourself, nobody's gonna know who you are. For a minute, people, there was even articles 
online where people were like a random person entered Love Island because they didn't even know who he was. That's how sad it was. I just feel like I'm very glad that he's gone. Another waste of space that we simply don't need. And hopefully they can bring in another guy or another girl, somebody that just has like OV 2.0, something like that. Very sad to see that nobody in the villa obviously likes Ovi and wants to pursue him. I thought Amber would go for him, but she really confirmed it when she said that she sees him like a brother. Similar to how you one day said that she saw Michael as a brother. So clearly that kind of reaffirms that nothing is definitely going to go on between them. So as I said, we have to put this story past us and simply move on. We also see that Amber's giddy and she's laughing and you know, she's a bit like a bit happy that his heart was running. I don't know why you're happy. Like, please whatever bone that you have in your body that makes you want to believe that you want to reconnect with him, throw it away. Because I feel like he really, really put you on blast, left you in the corner, deserted, discarded you, don't go crawling back because it'll make you look like a fool. But at the same time, you potentially could fight for him, get him, get to the final, be the ones who win and then steal at the end. I feel like that in itself would be absolutely amazing because we haven't seen a couple steal. So I don't think Tommy and Molly May will do it either because speaking of those two, they were in the hideaway. Again, nobody, like, I just don't care for them. I don't care for these two as a couple. I feel like it's just very fixed, it's very rehearsed. Um, I just feel like it's a bit OTT because he's obviously, you know, coming in as, you know, um, his, obviously his, his brother's a, a massive boxer. So I feel like that in itself already played the cards for him. And I feel like the show have really put it up for him to win and I feel like that is going to be the case and I feel like Tommy and Molly May are definitely going to win the show. I don't see anyone else winning. I feel like they're the main front runner and when somebody is the main front runner two to three to four weeks before the show ending, it does become quite annoying and you're just like, oh, like I just find it annoying. With the a video I did earlier today with the producer telling like, um, certain contestants to do stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if they told Michael to dump Amber. I wouldn't be surprised if they told Maura to go for Curtis. But I feel like Maura expressed it prior anyways and you can tell that she, I think she is genuinely interested in him. But unfortunately she keeps on losing out. The game was quite funny. It was hilarious to see them, you know, play ball and kick and they couldn't see it with the goggles. Like, it was nice to have some laughter in it. Like, it wasn't even that great of a laughter but it was nice to see that. I just hopefully Ovi finds somebody. That's all I'm really saying. Not much really took place. To, uh, not much really took place in this episode. Um, just with you know Marvin moving to Francesca and you know a too little too late as Jojo says because I just do feel like that we didn't lead anywhere and I'm just very happy that he's gone. And hopefully Chris can go next next time as well. I don't know why, I wish that they did a double dumping and both of these two characters left because Chris has come into this as well as a new character alongside Francesca, pursued Amber, Amber does not like him because his game is just wet. Belle he pursued, Mora he pursued, none of these girls are like him, he's getting rejected each by each by each. <laughs> So I feel like he is also one of the most characters who are in danger and I feel like he probably will go home. I really hope with all my heart and more that Amber does not go for this Chris guy. This Chris guy is so washed out, like really and truly, please. He's probably one of those guys that you see at Box Park in Shoreditch just, you know, doing the absolute most for no reason. Like, I just feel like he's one of those ones. So really and truly, you know, one of these hipster guys with one sock is green and one sock is blue. So I just feel like, no shade no tease anybody who's wearing green and blue socks at the same time. But you know when you've got these hipsters who just really do the most for no reason. So I feel like he might be one of these, just I feel like he's one of these ones. So like, really and truly, I don't feel like he should be getting with anyone. I feel like he needs to go. He's a waste of space, waste of a character. And what I mean by that is, if you are coming into the show, and you are not giving us as an audience, as an audience, content, humor, personality, that I don't want to see your face. I don't want to see your face. If you're not providing us that the content that Mora is providing us, if you don't provide us with the drama that Anna or Michael or Amber are providing us, or the humor that Ovi is providing us, then I don't want to see it. Or the emotions that Amy provided us, I don't want to see it because I'm not here to be seeing you guys just sitting there and on being really being part of team furniture. Like what, what, what is Chris doing? What is Marvin doing? What is people doing? They have, their game is dead, their banter is dead, and they're just, it's just annoying. It really is. Let me know what your thoughts are on this episode. What are your highlights? My highlights, Ovi Stain, and you know, to see that Francesca picked Mora, Mora, <laughs> Francesca picked Curtis with her chest. I didn't expect that. I thought she would have picked Marvin at the most. Like I didn't, did not expect that at all. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please follow me on my Instagram, Mirage and School Morali, and subscribe to my channel. Click that button, subscribe, 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 and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.